Roberto, it's been great being here in Guatemala this time around, and uh, I've been really impressed with what I saw in San Jose Pinula with the Family Hope Center. The campus is beautiful. Now here at Hopotenango, where it all started, to see the Family Hope Center here and to see the staff engaging and meeting with pastors, it's been fantastic. So what do you see in the future as, as your vision for the work here? What's, what's in your heart and your mind? I think we need to create more opportunities for families, to strengthen families, to bring more families into our Family Hope Centers. That's great. You know, one of the things that I uh, really enjoyed this uh, week is having been a pastor was to meet with pastors. And you orchestrated a fantastic meeting with the Evangelical Alliance and then with other Baptist pastors uh, uh, that same day. And just to meet with pastors and, and share that, you know, we, we share the same vision for ministry to bring the kingdom near. And, uh, you know, that also is something that we're aware of in Texas and in the U.S. And all across the U.S., how important churches and pastors are in the work. So how do you see that developing and what kind of opportunities are there for pastors and churches to really engage in the work uh, to help them grow and experience how to live out their faith uh, in Christ? Well, I, I think it was a great opportunity. And you said it yesterday at your conference. It took one hard pastor, one pastor to start it to have this. Now imagine if we, if we have more pastor to do this, Right. how big could be and how many families we can serve and how many right. children we can provide uh, families to. And you know what, you've done a beautiful job of engaging churches and pastors, but you've also engaged the business community uh, who wants to de demonstrate uh, corporate social responsibility and get engaged. And so uh, we've seen that uh, with uh, different foundations, and uh, do you see more of that happening here in Guatemala? Yeah, we are looking forward, and we are intentionally working in strategies to bring more businesses, more uh, companies to provide more resources for, for Bacno, Guatemala. In fact, last year we started a, uh, a fundraise project with another company, with Azteca, with Fundación Azteca, and we raised 80, $86,000 last year. Wow, that's amazing. You know, uh, the work really only gets done through the lives of the people that work for Buckner here. Everywhere I've gone, I've encountered just outstanding, excellent folks who believe in what they're doing. They're passionate about the work. They love what they do. How do you maintain that kind of environment here far away from where we are in Texas? Um, it really comes down to your leadership. So how do you maintain that? Well, I think it's, it's like, like playing a, a football game and everybody own their position and everybody is uh, responsible and accountable for their position mm -hmm. and I think the team has a common goal and is strengthening families and preserve families and serve children yeah. and our goal is just to maintain that uh, standard of excellence of serving mm -hmm. of serving families mm -hmm. and yeah. serving you when you come yeah. here and serving yeah. each other serving yeah. uh, our co-workers yeah. and maintain that a standard of excellence. Yeah. Well, we talked about how you engage churches and pastors. We've talked about how the business community is involved. We talked about our staff. But you know, you've also found a way to engage the government officials here uh, in this country. How have you maintained a relationship where they see that we bring value to them, we respect what they do, they honor our work? How, how do you see that continuing to grow and flourish? Well, I believe that um, we need to be transparent with them and to share all the knowledge and the information mm -hmm. we have gathered uh, along the years. Mm -hmm. And with all the experience that we have with uh, doing foster care, uh, family preservation, mm -hmm. straining in families, we want for them to have that information, mm -hmm. to have that experience. And what we do is we mm -hmm. share with them and we, we, we give them a message mm -hmm. and we tell them, we are here to serve you, yeah. to do your job, to help you do your job, to, sell those, to serve those mm -hmm. children and, and families. Yeah. So I think Bacner Guatemala has built a reputation for the uh, standard of service that provides to mm -hmm. government along the years. Mm -hmm. And we not only provide uh, resources for the government, but opportunities mm -hmm. to learn and to take what we learn to improve their, their services also. Yeah. After two and a half years, over two and a half years, we finally have you here. We are yeah. so blessed to have you here yeah. and be able to see what we've been doing in the last two and a half years. We have been 
we have had to be creative. We've been creative to serve our families, to uh, deliver services mm -hmm. for our children. And uh, this is the first group in the pandemic. So how has it been like for you in the last two and a half years? Well, if you recall, the, the last trip I made before the pandemic started was right here. Yes, And here. I was here with, with y'all. It was great to see you. And then we had to work our way through two and a half years of being isolated, separated, you know, with the fears and the concerns of the global pandemic, and then thinking about our families that we serve and children, wondering how they're doing, to be able to come back two and a half years later, not knowing if we're going to have to jump start things again. Actually, we've had to catch up to you because you, you took off. I mean, you continue to do your work, and to be able to see the joy and the um, results and the flourishing of the work, it, it's like it's like you didn't miss a beat. You kept going, and so it just brings great joy to my heart and. The visitors that came with me have just, are just totally impressed with the work and how it's flourishing. And um, yeah, it's been hard. It's been tough. We've had some losses and family members that you know have lost their lives and and sick sickness. So it's not that it's been easy, but your perseverance as a leader and the organization is just amazing. And uh, it's just great to be here again.